Infiltration technique is able to be performed in the maxilla due to the thin cortical bone permitting diffusion of anaesthetic solution through the bone to the target nerve. It involves injecting into tissues immediately adjacent to the site that you want to anaesthetise. There are two types of infiltration techniques in the maxilla, buccal infiltrations and palatal infiltrations. Buccal infiltration is indicated if you require pulpal anaesthesia of one or two teeth. A buccal infiltration should anaesthetise the terminal branches on the innervating nerves of adjacent teeth, resulting in anaesthesia of local pulp, root, buccal periosteum, connective tissue, buccal gingiva and the mucous membrane. The nerve targeted is dependent on the tooth you want to anaesthetise, but will be a terminal branch of either the posterior, middle or anterior superior alveolar neural plexus. A short needle is required for a buccal infiltration. The target bony site is slightly distal and superior to the apex of the target tooth. You also need to identify the soft tissue landmarks. For the buccal infiltration, you are aiming for the height of the mucobuccal fold of the vestibule adjacent to the target tooth. The syringe should be oriented so that it is parallel to the long axis of the tooth. This orientation may need to be more oblique as you move posteriorly. The needle should be inserted approximately 3 to 5 millimetres and then slowly deposit 0.5 to 1 mil of solution. Palatal infiltration is indicated if you require anaesthesia of the palatal gingiva of a corresponding tooth only. This injection anaesthetizes the terminal branches of either the nasopalatine or the greater palatine nerve. The target bony site is at the greatest angle of the palate, the junction of the palatine process of maxilla and alveolar process of maxilla. So in this region here, you also need to identify the soft tissue landmark at the maximum tissue thickness of the palate or at the curvature of the palate. The syringe should be oriented so that the needle is inserted at a 45 degree angle to the pallet at the junction. The needle should be inserted approximately 1 to 2 millimetres, then slowly deposit 0.1 to 0.3 mils of solution. Deposit very slowly and you'll see blanching of the tissues.